History about monkey. Monkey is a common name that may refer to groups or species of mammals, in part, the simians of infraorder Simiaformes. The term is applied descriptively to groups of primates, such as families of New World monkeys and Old World monkeys. Many monkey species are tree-dwelling, arboreal, although there are species that live primarily on the ground, such as baboons. Most species are also active during the day, diurnal. Monkeys are generally considered to be intelligent, especially the Old World monkeys of Katarini. Simians and Tarsias emerged within haplorines some 60 million years ago. New World monkeys and Katarine monkeys emerged within the Simians some 35 million years ago. Old World monkeys and Hominoidea emerged within the Katarine monkeys some 25 million years ago. Extinct basal simians such as Aegyptopithecus or Parapithecus 35 to 32 million years ago, Aeosimiata and sometimes even the Katarini group are also considered monkeys by primatologists. Lemurs, lorises, and galegos are not monkeys, instead they are stripsurine primates. Like monkeys, tarsias are haplorine primates, however, they are also not monkeys. Apes emerged within monkeys as sister of the Cercopithecidae in the Katarini, so cladistically they are monkeys as well. There has been some resistance to directly designate apes, and thus humans, as monkeys despite the scientific evidence, so Old World monkey may be taken to mean the Cercopithecoidea or the Katarini 10 11 12 13 14 15 9 16 17 that apes are monkeys was already realized by Georges Louis Leclerc, Comte de Buffon in the 18th century. Monkeys, including apes, can be distinguished from other primates by having only two pectoral nipples, a pendulous penis, and a lack of sensory whiskers. Historical and modern terminology According to the online etymology dictionary, the word monkey may originate in a German version of the Reynard the Fox fable, published circa 1580. In this version of the fable, a character named Monk is the son of Martin the Ape 21 in English. No very clear distinction was originally made between ape and monkey, thus the 1910 Encyclopedia Britannica entry for ape notes that it is either a synonym for monkey or is used to mean a tailless human-like primate 22 colloquially, the terms monkey and ape are widely used interchangeably 23 also, a few monkey species have the word ape in their common name, such as the Barbary. Ape. Later in the first half of the 20th century, the idea developed that there were trends in primate evolution and that the living members of the order could be arranged in a series, leading through monkeys and apes to humans. 24 monkeys thus constituted a grade on the path to humans and were distinguished from apes. Scientific classifications are now more often based on monophyletic groups, that is groups consisting of all the descendants of a common ancestor. The New World monkeys and the Old World monkeys are each monophyletic groups, but their combination was not, since it excluded hominoids, apes and humans. Thus the term monkey no longer referred to a recognized scientific taxon. The smallest accepted taxon which contains all the monkeys is the infraorder Simiaformes, or simians. However this also contains the hominoids, apes and humans, so that monkeys are, in terms of currently recognized taxa, non-hominoid simians. Colloquially and popculturally, the term is ambiguous and sometimes monkey includes non-human hominoids 25 in addition, frequent arguments are made for a monophyletic usage of the word monkey from the perspective that usage should reflect cladistics. A group of monkeys may be commonly referred to as a tribe or a troop 31 two separate groups of primates are referred to as monkeys, new world monkeys, platyrines, from South and Central America and old world monkeys, Katarines in the superfamily Cercopithecoidea, from Africa and Asia. Apes, hominoids, consisting of gibbons, orangutans, gorillas, chimpanzees, and humans are also Katarines but were classically distinguished from monkeys 32, 33, 34, 35. Tailless monkeys may be called apes, incorrectly according to modern usage, thus the tailless Barbary macaque is sometimes called the Barbary ape. If you like the video just hit the subscribe button. Share and like for more videos weekly. Thanks.